Welcome back to Crochet by Night. We're going to start this granny square by creating a slip knot. Then insert your hook and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Insert your hook in the beginning chain and slip stitch, which will form a ring. Chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to put a double crochet to the center of the ring. So yarn over, insert your hook in the center of the ring, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So we're going to count this we're going to count this first three chain as a stitch. So we've got one. It's going to count as a double crochet. Two, and we're going to add another double crochet. That gives you three. And you're going to chain one, and you're going to put three more double crochets through the center. So yarn over, insert your hook through the center, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. Two more. Yarn over, insert your hook to the center. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. One more. Yarn over, insert your hook to the center. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to chain one. Now we're going to put three more double crochets through the center, yarn over, insert your hook through the center, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to put two more, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. So right now you have three double crochets. That chain three counted as the first one. And then you have a chain. And then three more double crochets and a chain. Three more double crochets. And you're going to chain. And you're going to put three more double crochets to the center of that ring. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Two more. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And one more. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And chain one. Now we're going to join to the top of this chain three. So you can see where you started with one, two, and three. You're going to slip stitch into that. And now let's pull our tail to close off. See our tail, center tail? We're going to close off that um, circle as much as it'll go till it's tight. And that gives us, you can see the beginnings of your square. Now I'm going to change colors. And to do that, I'm just going to simply cut my yarn, yarn over and pull it all the way through, and pull it to tighten. Now, select your next color. Granny squares can be in any color. They can be solid. They can be multicolored. You can do any colors you want with them. I am going to do this one in orange. I have a couple that you saw in the intro. I had one in blue and white. I have one in white, pink, and black. I'm going to do orange on this one. And that way you can see it pretty good. So some people come in here to the, you find one of your chain spaces between the groups of three. Some will insert their hook and pull up the yarn and then 
yarn over and pull through, creating a chain and leaving that tail, and then they'll work over that tail. I'm not going to do this since it's a beginner video. We're going to secure our work by putting our hook in through the chain space, pulling the yarn all the way through, and let's go ahead and tie it. We're doing that just because this is a beginner video and I found that that helps my beginner students so that they don't get nervous about the um, yarn coming out. So then insert your hook, yarn over, and then you pull up a loop. And you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to do two more double crochets, yarn over, insert your hook through that chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do one more. Yarn over, insert your hook through the chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now, we're at, a, we're forming a corner, so we're going to chain two, we're going to yarn over, Insert our hook back in that same chain space. See that? Yarn over, insert our hook back through that same chain space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Let's do that two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. One more time. Yarn over, Insert your hook in the chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you can see now you have three double crochets, a chain two, and three double crochets. I'm just going to chain one, and then I'm going to jump all the way over here to my next cha chain space. So let's put three double crochets, yarn over, insert your hook in the chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That's your first double. Yarn. Let's do two more. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Let's do one more double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We're going to chain two because it's a Forming the corner, I'm going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do that two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now, we're going to be jumping over here to this little chain space, but since it's not in a corner, we're just chaining one. Then we're going to yarn over and jump to that corner, to that chain space, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. One more time. One more double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, because we're in the corner, we're forming that corner. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Two more double crochets, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And one last double crochet in this corner, yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and chain one. We're going to jump to this next chain space, yarn over, we're going to do three double crochets, a chain two, and three double crochets to form that corner. So here we go. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to do three more double crochets. I'm not going to count these for you. I'm going to let you do those on your own. So just go ahead and do three more double crochets. And then a chain one. Okay, chain one. Slip stitch to the top of that chain three space. And remember, a slip stitch is just yarn over and pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And there you have your second row of your granny square. We formed the corners by creating three double crochets, a chain two, and three double crochets. We chained one between our corners. We did another three double crochets chain two, three double crochets, chained one, formed another corner by three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, we chained one, and we had the final corner, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, so I'm going to change colors again. And this time, I think I will pick white, if I can Let's do, I'm going to do white on this one. So I'll have white and orange and white. Okay, so we are going to, remember we're going to find one of your corners, doesn't matter which one, and you're going to pull the yarn through. It doesn't have to be very long. And tie a knot, insert your hook through the chain spaces, yarn over and pull you up a loop. We're in chain three, one, that pulled up loops, that's one, two, and three. And we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to put three double crochets, a chain two, three double crochets. Remember that this chain three always counts as your first stitch. It's your first double crochet, so you're going to put two more into the corner. You're going to chain two, and you're going to put three more double crochets into that same space. There's two and three. Now we're going to chain one, and we're going to work three double crochets into this chain space right here. So there's one, two, and three. We're going to chain one again, and we're going to creep going to do our corner, so it's three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So there's my first double crochet, and my second double crochet, and my third double crochet. I'm going to chain two, and put three more into that corner. So there's one, two, and three. And then I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to put three more double crochets. Into the chain space. Yarn over. Okay, insert your hook. You've got this. I don't need to count that one down, do I? So there's the first double. And the second double. And the third double. All right. So again, I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to jump to my corner, and I'm going to do three double crochets, and then a chain two, and then a chain two, and three double crochets. Okay. And then we're 
going to chain one and we're going to put three double crochets into this chain space. So there's one, two, and three. And chain one again. Jump to the corner and you're going to put three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. And then chain two. And put three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one, put three double crochets in the space. There's one, two, and three. Chain one, and then we're going to find the top of that beginning chain and insert your hook and slip stitch to close off that round. Now, you can do as many rounds and make this as big as you want. You could even make a one blanket just out of making a granny square um, with just one square or you can attach multiple squares together. So you could attach multiple squares together. I'm going to have a video um, out here in a day or two that shows you how to, to attach these all together. So um, I'm going to show you how to make a purse out of them. I'm going to show you how to make a scarf out of them. I'm going to show you how to make a cardigan out of them and a blanket. So stay tuned for that. That should be in the next few days. Um, if you want to be notified when those videos go live, you can um, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. And then it will let you know when these um, new videos are posted. So just kind of want to show you the difference. All three of these were done the exact same way. This one looks different because it's got two rounds of the same color. So it only makes the center pop. This one, as you can see, it's two colors. And that looks different than this one, which is three colors. So you can do as many colors as you'd like. When you go to, let's say you want to make this larger, you're going to start in your corner and you're going to do your um, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain one, and then you're going to put three double crochets here, and then chain one, and then three double crochets here, and chain one, and then you'll do your form your corner again. So the bigger it gets, the more chain spaces that you have where you'll put three double crochets in a chain one. Let's go ahead and if you haven't already, let's fasten off by clipping our yarn. And I'm going to show you, some of you may know and some of you may not. So just to be on the safe side, I want to show you um, the back of this square and let's sew in our ends together. Now this center end, even though it's tight, it is the one that usually tends to come out if you're not careful. And you don't want to do a whole lot of work and then have it come out on you. So I always like to insert my hook under a couple of pieces of yarn there and insert my hook back through the hole and pull up to form a knot. So that gives me one more knot to hold it. And then I usually run it through, uh, the needle through underneath a couple of times. And I'll tell you, it wasn't till a few years ago that I figured out that I was not, um, probably not sewing in my ends well enough and they were coming out. And so I talked to a lady um, named Flo. She was so nice. And I said, Flo, what? I've been crocheting for years. What am I doing wrong? And she said, you're not splitting the yarn. So let me see if I can get one up here where you can see. When you go in, 
you go in and you try to use that point and get to where, see right there where it's splitting? Oh, can't see that, can you? See right there where it's, you see where that's splitting? And you pull it up through, and you know you split the yarn because it's going to be a little tighter to pull that through. Let's try that one more time, Let's see if you can see it. I'm going to go under this, and I'm going to try to catch just the edge or the center of a, a piece of yarn there. And see, you can see where it's just like one piece of yarn. You can see where you, it's just one piece of yarn right there. You see that? And you pull through and pull tight. So go ahead and weave in your ends, and unless you're going to make the, go ahead and weave in your ends unless you're going to make this a bigger square. I would love to see what you make out of them. I love, love, love granny squares. I can sit and do these at night while watching TV and just stack them up and figure out what I'm going to do with them later, but it gives me the therapeutic um, feeling because I'm crocheting while I'm watching TV. It's, you get used to doing it so you're not dropping stitches. And then you just stack them up and it, you can later figure out what to do with them. As always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe so that you get future videos as they come out. I would so appreciate it. In the meantime, have a good evening.